So in this application, we can see we have uh, the list of products being displayed and the shopping cart. These are buttons and when we click on these buttons, these products will get added in the shopping cart. And initially the cart is empty. If I go ahead and click on Honor 7S, now that has been added to the cart. The quantity is one because we've just added one and we've got the remove cart button from cart button. If I click on Realme 3, that has also been added to the cart. If I click on Honor 7S again, the quantity has become two. So the quantity keeps on getting added with the times we click on it. If I click on remove from cart, it has been removed from the cart. So you can remove everything from the cart and the cart becomes empty again. Let's go ahead and add a few phones to it. So we have added four quantities of Redmi 6, one Samsung J6 and one Moto 1. And below it are the number of items in the cart, which is four plus one plus one, which is six. And the value of the cart, which is the price into quantity. So the sum of it. So this is the application we have to create. So here we have created two components. So one say, let me call it as the shopping cart, which has the products and the cart. And the second is the products, which renders all these products. So, and what we have created in our state is an array of these products. So these products have the product name. So that's first part of it. So they have two descriptions. So one is this description say up to 64 GB. And then second description is this. And the third they have is the price. So there are four fields for each product. So the name of the product description one description two and the price and in the in that state, we also maintain a cart. So the cart has is an array. Initially it's empty. And whenever we add a product into it, we add the ID and the quantity. Whenever we add another product, we check if that ID already exists in the cart, we increment it. Otherwise we add it new to the cart. And whenever we click on remove from cart, we remove it from that cart. So this is how we will create this application.